Today we're going to talk about recovering some seat cushions. These seats are from some bar height chairs um, that are with a table that I purchased used. I thought it would be a great idea to get a used table, refinish it, and have it look the way that I want. We're also going to discuss in this video how to recover from a mistake when you are recovering your seat covers. So first off, we'll, I've undone all the staples from the bottom of the seat. So I'm going to take off the old cover. So this foam in some of the seats was starting to crumble, disintegrate, fall apart. So we're going to replace the foam since we're replacing the covers so we can do it all at the same time. So this is the base of the seat, just a piece of plywood. When I went to get foam, I didn't measure. I just happened to be stopping at the store where I could get the foam, grabbed the piece. I thought, oh, there's no way a seat can be bigger than this. So I got these packages, each in two, didn't have to get anything cut, just grab the packages in and out of the store. I get home, put it on the plywood, and it's too small. So luckily, the foam is fairly thick. There's two pieces in here. So what I can do is I can tear each piece in half. And then I'm going to have a lot of extra pieces and some extra foam that I can cut and adjust to fit my size of plywood. So I will show you a sample of what I've done already. So this is one of the squares that has been ripped in half. You can see it's quite a bit thinner. So what I've had to do is I've cut a piece to go along the side, a piece to go along the back because I want it overhanging just slightly so that it will wrap, when the vinyl is put on, it will wrap around so that your legs don't rub on the sharp side of the chair. So I've taped the pieces on here together. You can see I've also put some tape on the other side just to hold them in place. You won't be able to feel this through the vinyl, I'm hoping, um, but then we'll be able to have it so that it fits all good on all sides. Don't see any of the plywood sticking over. So then this is going to go, um, we'll move this over here. These are all the cut pieces of the new black vinyl that I have. So what I did for that was went and bought the one large piece. I took the old cover off the seat, traced it six times on the piece of vinyl, cut them all out. So I now have all six pieces of vinyl here ready to go. So we will flip our foam and piece of plywood on to the vinyl. And some of the foam maybe need to be trimmed on the inner narrower parts of the seat. Yeah, so I did have it the right way. We want to leave the side with the notches to make sure that that's there so that we can staple the extra pieces of vinyl into the notch so it doesn't bulk up the corners. So we're just going to pause. I'm going to trim up the sides a little bit so that the foam's not wrapping all around the corner. So this here needs to be trimmed slightly just because I don't want it to come around to the bottom or it's going to bulk up the bottom of the seat. So the sides have been trimmed up now, so you can see I just have a small amount on each side just to give a little extra cushion around the edge for when we go and fold the vinyl up. So we're going to start out with 
each corner. And what I'll do is put a staple in each corner first. Okay, so I have this corner up. I've used the staple gun, stapled this corner, apply some weight, pull up the next corner, and then put a staple in this corner as well. And then do the same for the next two corners. We have all four corners stapled. So we're going to turn it over just to take a look at the other side, make sure that it looks tight enough. Um, there is some gold marks in this material, but that will come out over time. Um, so far it looks good. So I'm gonna turn it back over and finish with the stapling process. So I will go from one side all around to the other side. I'm going to start with this side just kind of gently fold in the extra at the corner so that the extra material fits into the notch that's already caught up, cut out in the wood. As I get the sides stapled together, I am going to keep turning it over to the other side just to look, make sure that it's getting to be tight enough, that there's no bulges um, along the edges and then I'll continue on with each side and then flip it back and forth just to make sure I don't want to have to be ripping all the staples out. All the staples are in. We have all the sides all done. I'm gonna to have to trim a little bit of extra material from here, um, but looks not too bad. Flip it over. It off. And there you have it. We have a brand new seat cover. So now we just have to take this um, and attach it onto the base of the chair, which is another story. This video helped you out. Give it a like and subscribe to my channel to have more DIY tips and financial tips and how you can make money at home. All coming soon.